So now, instead of a traditional altar call, we're going to invite our seniors down one by one for them to receive prayer from us during this season of their life. So seniors, when I call your name, I'm going to invite you to come and kneel. And then um, Pastor Andy's going to pass out some things for you guys. And then after that, we're going to have uh, families come down. And we also want to, um, when I proposed this idea, Andy was like, we're not Baptists. But I was raised Baptist, so it still is in me, okay? So we're going to invite the rest of the church, if you feel comfortable, to come and also lay hands on our students as we pray for them. Okay? Sound good? So our first student that we want to recognize is Thomas Matthew Adcock. Libby Caroline Ewing. Sarah Louise Fowler. Noah Andrew Landris. Charles Parker Lofton. And Brennan Kenneth Bragazzi. At this time, as Andy moves forward to conduct our prayer, I want to invite our families to come forward first. Find your student. And as they come down, I want to invite our church family at all to come down. If you are comfortable to lay hands on these families, support these parents too. They're going to need it. Support our kids. If you're not comfortable coming forward, um, you should because it would mean a lot to them. But you can extend your hands as well in a shine of solidarity. We, in, we invite you to pray not just for these students, but for, pray, to pray for all the students listed in the bulletin uh, as our graduates as well, those who could not be here, as well as our college and other graduates. So as Mary Beth said, we invite any wish, who wish to come down to lay hands to come down now and pray that. If you would prefer, though, you can also extend a hand. You don't have to put it above your head. We don't want things, people think, think you're raising your hands. We don't get a bad reputation. But uh, we invite you to extend a hand as we pray for these graduates. So let's pray. Father God, your word says that you go with us always. God, one of those precious gifts you give to a family, that you give to a church, is a child. Father God, these, these young men and women before us now, God, we have loved these children. We have raised them, God, as a church and as families. We thank you for, as Mary Beth reminded us, what they have already taught us. Father, yes, we hope that we have taught them lessons, but God, we know that they have taught us as well. So God, as these young men and women go forth into your world, we rejoice. We rejoice in the good that they're going to do. We rejoice in the places they're going to go and the difference that they're going to make. Father, we ask your protection for them as they move into this next stage of life. God, we ask for your spirit to be with them, to guide them in difficult decisions, in hard moments, in challenging circumstances. Father, we ask that you pour out your spirit upon them to guide them, to lead them, to direct them. And God, to keep fresh in them that great command to love you and to love their neighbor, Father God. So use these young men and women to accomplish the purpose you've set before. God, that purpose of loving you and loving each other. We thank you for them. We thank you for their families. God, be with their families as they see them transition to this next stage of life, God. Give us all, oh God, to know your joy and peace that comes from your spirit. We thank you for each of these men and women. 
We thank you, God, for your goodness. And we thank you most of all for our Savior, Jesus Christ. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. Congratulations, senior.